Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com and I am right now, I know I look all shiny and all that. I'm trying out some new camera angles, I got some new equipment, I got a new tripod, I got some better lighting and I got a spotlight on me now which really causes a lot of heat in this room and I can't turn on the AC and fan just because uh, the background noise is too much with this Averio. I'm actually looking to upgrade a camera, uh, maybe buying a fancy camera tomorrow, not too sure but stay, stay tuned to the main channel, Make It Cool Man, if you want to see an unboxing if I do decide to get it. Um, but yes, I do apologize for all my hair is looking all crazy and all that. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the iPad Mini. I didn't do any special coverage on this. I didn't do a feature yet. And I didn't even write a post until I, I'm going to write this, until I shoot this video and finish editing it and everything. Uh, it's all around the rumor mill. I mean, you don't have to go to my site to recognize that. I do do tech news coverage for, you know, one of the main points on my site. But I didn't even report on this yet because, again, there's I was just so awed and shocked over the huge coverage over it. Just mainly because a lot of people started to confirm the sources and confirm the release of this. So product feedback and the creative one, two YouTubers who are very well known out there, were kind of early ones to break the story because they had sources. And the main source and that's been spread all over the place right now is talking about a company called Signet, that is C-Y-G-N-E-T, released iPad mini cases and there's pictures of them by these people and these sources, all that, who took these pictures, confirming that the iPad mini form factor has been sent out to these case manufacturers and the Signet case was leaked. Now why does case manufacturers have these huge say in it and all that? Why are they so important in this rumor mill? Well because Apple and other many other companies, but Apple specifically tends to do this thing where you know when you're gonna release a product like this, in Apple's releases are never like small releases. They're obviously, you know, their products aren't, you know, constant. They're just uh, scheduled uh, you know, refreshments of the iPad, the iPhone, ex iPods, etc. Um, they tend to let manufacturers know early on the specifications of the product so they know how to retrofit an iPad in their cases. They know how to fit something in their docks. They need to know specifications so that when Apple releases a product, there's already accessories readily, readily available to be purchased, which is a huge thing. That's why when cases get leaked, it's a huge thing to, you know, it's a huge kind of connection to say that, you know, this can be finally a confirmed product. But again, the issue with this is there tends to be rumors or tends to be mock-ups or tends to be spoofs and people photoshopping and all this uh, stuff and like I tend to say it's as a tech journalist I never really confirm rumors until the product actually releases Tim Cook releases it announces it on a keynote or it's released on apple.com that's you know when you can 100% confirm a product in my opinion now let me talk about if this is true what's gonna you know what we know about the iPad mini and what Apple has to do to kind of sell this off the iPad mini as of you know right now is uh, one, it has the new, it's going to have a new chipset in it. The new A6 chipset that's being used in the iPhone 5 is going to implement something very, very similar to that. It's going to have that same sort of technology. So the CPU will definitely be better in it. It'll be faster and perform better. Uh, I'm guessing the same for GPU, obviously. Uh, they're probably going to go with the same kind of 16 gig, 32 gig, maybe, you know, two models, or uh, three, you know, the typical three model. Uh, Get storage size with these iPad minis if they do release it and a lot of speculation right now saying is that they're already in uh, they're already in production there's talk about the tab the size of it being the 7.58 7.85 inch uh, LCD screen so probably not retina again just to save on that and it's gonna be a lower resolution obviously than the iPad uh, it's older brother of the iPad now where does this fit in you know all these rumors all this information what we know about it where does it fit in iPad mini is gonna basically come between the iPad and the iPhone slash iPod Touch. It's going to be that middleman market. It's literally going to be the thing that comes between these two products. If you want a bigger form factor, if you want to do you know uh, stuff like you do on your iPod Touch uh, on a bigger screen, you get the iPad. If you want that bigger experience, and a lot of people tend to say you know the iPod's a small iPad. I hate or iPad's a bigger iPod. I hate when people say that because it's all an experience. Physically, yeah, but I mean that's almost you can say the same thing about any tablet to phone ratio. Yes, it's just a bigger screen still with iOS, but you get a different experience. You get iPad apps, you get these high definition apps, you get a more immersive experience, and a more just big, bigger screen real estate. I've always been a fan of huge uh, screen real estate and uh, you know the, the amount of productivity you can get done on a bigger screen. And the iPad mini is going to shoot to fit the, you know, the, the middleman between that. Now, what does Apple have to do necessarily to sell this iPad? Well, first off, Tim Cook has to... Uh, has to, in Apple in general, has to perform, you know, provide an incentive. I think that uh, the iPad Mini is going to fit in a market that is really, really popular right now. 
uh, with the Nexus 7, which I've been trying to get for days, but literally are out everywhere around here. Um, the Nexus 7, the Samsung Galaxy tabs, all this crazy 7-inch and 10-inch form factor tabs, these, you know, these smaller form factor of tablets, um, are huge right now. And reason being because they're pricing and all that, and they're just cheaper, and they run Android, and they can do all cool sort of stuff with different Android OSs and all that. Um, but they have to provide incentive for the users who are on the iPhone and iPod Touch to want a middleman device, to not, rather than jump to the iPad, why would they jump to the iPad Mini? You need to make that connection. The same goes for the people who are looking to buy an iPad. Why would I buy a, a slightly smaller screen model that's cheaper, maybe 100, 200 bucks cheaper? What's my incentive there to cut down two inches? You know, what, what am I looking to do that this iPad Mini can fulfill that the iPad would do, but again, I'm shelling out extra cash for something that can do it for cheaper. At the seven inch form factor, they need to meet incentive with price. Now the thing that kind of gets me here and what I'm spe you know, speculating about is they can't make it o under 199 and personally I think they can't make it over 350. Reason being, 199 is the baseline iPod Touch 5th gen right now that's out. You obviously can't make the iPad mini the same and or cheaper than the iPod Touch. It would totally blow your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch market and you'd be shooting yourself in the foot. That's just you know, self-explanatory. You can't price it the same and or lower. So you can't be competing with prices like the Nexus 7 out there. It just You cannot do that with this iPad mini unless you're going to like lower the cost of the iPod Touch or something. You can't shoot higher than 350 in my opinion because uh, you know, pushing into the 400 market, you're just, you know, it's a hundred dollar difference uh, for a better spec iPad 3 probably with dual cameras and all this fancier stuff, hardware-wise, uh, and the new iPad uh, with the Retina display and all that. You can't make that price just too close where people can just say, might as well just get the iPad. Um, and um, that's just my opinion. You have to price it from around 250 to 350 I think 300 personally is a sweet spot. You can push up to 350 I think, and people would still probably buy it, but again, we usually see Apple price around you know the 99 price point, so I'm thinking 299 again is that sweet spot for this iPad Mini. $200 under the baseline iPad, and again about $100 up from the iPod Touch. Uh, so that's the price. They need to hit this price perfectly, matching its incentive. The iPad Mini, you know whatever you want to say, whatever your, your gripes, Apple has to hit a middleman market. This is a form factor that's so popular out right now. But even though that they're competing with great, great tablets like the Nexus 7, the reason this, I think, could sell is because of the familiarity. People know iOS. Not to say that people don't know Android, but uh, Android tends to be fragmented. Not all devices have that same version. Not all of them are running Honeycomb. You know, some are running Jelly Bean, some are running Honeycomb, some are running Ice Cream Sandwich. There's a whole bunch of different form factors out there, or not form factors, but systems out there. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, apps on the App Store compared to the Android app, mar Marketplace, whatever it's called. Uh, not to diminish, again, Android. I would love to try out a Nexus 7 if I can get my hands on it over an iPad Mini. But again, people know how to use the iPad Mini. People who know how to use this know how to use this. People who know how to use these will know how to use the iPad Mini. It really comes to that simple fact. And the fact that as a business, you have to hit all marketplaces. You can't just shoot for the people who need form and functionality on something that's just so small and portable and then forget about the people who really want a bigger who want a bigger service to do their work on and there is people who love and swear by this product just the same as people swear and run by the iPhone and iPod touch and there's going to be people no matter what you say there's going to be people who want a middleman form factor something that they can watch movies check email on just a little bit more portable than this a little bit more cheaper than this and something that they can hold with one hand in the seven inch form factor that's my checklist and my uh, that's just what I think overall about the iPad Mini. They have to hit a few key points, uh, sell it off, and again, I think it can really fit into Apple's ecosystem, despite what people are going to tell you and saying it's just a bigger this or that. It all comes down to experience and familiar familiarity with these devices, and that's something iOS does so good with its uniformity across the board with all of their products. Anyways, guys, you can read my full blog post coming up over at digitaldojos.com. I'm Adrian. Thanks for watching.